1027 WNEW, the Rock of New York. Pink Floyd, comfortably dumb. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, hey, thank you, Anthony. <laughs> you get the wacky horn, Opie. Uh, Matchbox 20 before that, 3 a.m. It's Opie and Anthony. Yes, we're hanging. We're having fun. And uh, there you go. If you got anything to add, give us a call. Mm. Well, we got some breaking news out of Washington. Uh, oh, look at that, huh? You guys m may remember uh, the Grease Man. The Grease Man Show. Uh, we'll be back with more of the Grease Man Show. <laughs> yeah, little, little, little. Remember that experiment on K-Rock a few years back? Ouch. <laughs> well, uh, the Grease Man was suspended from his latest radio job in Washington. Suspenderoonie, yeah. <laughs> yaddle daddle. Yaddle daddle. <laughs> the Grease Man, uh, I've been uh, suspended. Uh. Well, the Grease Man was suspended from his job in Washington, Washington indefinitely without pay for remarks he made on a show yesterday. Now, check this out. During the 7 o'clock hour in the morning, uh, he played a portion of a song by the Grammy winner, Lauren Hill. And after he played this little snippet of her song, he said on the air, no wonder people drag them behind trucks. Ah! <laughs> oh, check, please. Check, please. <laughs> what the hell is he thinking? Yeah. Yaddle daddle. No wonder people drag them behind trucks. Yeah. Yaddle doodle lay. What is he on, crack? Uh, I think he's a bitter man. I guess so. This business will do it to you, but... So uh, they suspended him indefinitely without pay. Yeah, that remark made reference, of course, to the brutal torture and death in Texas of James Byrd Jr., who died while being dragged behind a pickup truck, driven by John William King, who was convicted of murder this week. Uh, the Grease Man also got in trouble back in 1986 for making insensitive remarks about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Uh-oh. Remember what he said about that? Grease yes. Man, are you in the studio? What did you say well, about that back in uh, 1986? I don't understand why people are so angry, yeah. All I said was, kill four more and we'll get the whole week off, eh? He had a little lie. He did, he said that and got, um, got suspended for that in 1986. They keep taking him back. Yes, they do. God, we just said the mayor was dead and they booted our asses right out of there, huh? Yeah, I don't understand how that works. I don't know. Wow. We, we say the mayor of Boston died. We get fired. And we little. <laughs> yeah, next time I'll goof on the chinks. Uh. <laughs> you little. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, what would you call me? Fred Flintstone if he was black? What? Blah, blah, negra. But you little. Uh, what a mess. We'll be back with more of the Grease Man Show. <laughs> or maybe we won't. Yeah. Uh, I got to get some Lauren Hill on the air for uh, the Grease Man today. Yadda doodly. You want to hear more Lauren Hill? The little man? brown sugar in. <laughs> Yadda <doodly. laughs> What is he thinking? He's on track, man. Yeah, at least I didn't goof on the Polacks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yaddle doodle <laughs> There won't be any more of the Grease Man Show. <laughs> God, a little bit of trouble there. Well, you got to watch what you say there, um, Doug, Doug Tract. Hey, uh, Grease Man, you have any other uh, black jokes for us today? or doodle -le. or I've got a million of them, eh? Are you done? You want to... You know, pepper some in today on the radio show? or Yes, maybe uh, since uh, the Grease Man show isn't on the air, uh, I'll uh, yaddle doodle it. Uh, <laughs> add him into your show. Try to get you suspended. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe I'll joke about uh, the Irish. Uh. Yeah? Boy, they're a bunch of drunks. Uh. You the little. Uh. <laughs> hey, did you ever notice that uh, there's no blacks on the Jetsons? Uh? Uh, yes, I, yeah. I did notice that. The future looks bright. Bladely, yaddle doodly. Yeadle, not loodly. Yodle, he who. Well, that's a cute little joke you got there, Grease Man. Yeah, I hope I don't get suspended. <laughs> oh, I am already. Yeah. <laughs> the Grease Man show has been uh, preempted. Yeah. <laughs> you want to hang with us? Do do. Racist remarks, yaddle doodly. Yeah. Yeah, I'll stay here until I have to leave slinging lead there. Yaddle daddle diddle do. 
Speaking of slinging lead, what did you think of uh, the cop shooting that poor guy? My God, that's awful, eh? Yeah. 42 bullets and they only hit him 19 times, eh? Yeah. That's horrible aim. <laughs> yeah, literally. If I was slinging that lead, every shot would have hit him. Yeah, literally. <laughs> the Grease Man Show. You're, I'm irreverent, yeah. You're you're a racist. I'm a racist, yeah. yeah. I'm a grease man, Joe. No, I'm not. Yeah, you're the little <laughs> But uh, I love the blacks. The little. I think we should all own one. <laughs> you're the little The grease man, Joe. What? What? Am I in trouble again? You're the little <laughs> Swiss Miss Instant Coco, you're the little You're the little diddle I'm the grease man, Joe. <laughs> All right. Well, you going to hang with us today? I'd be honored, Dad. All right. Hope you worked from Tri-State Computer Fairs. If you own a computer or are looking to buy a new computer, listen closely to the following message. The original Tri-State Computer Fair is coming to the Ramapo College in Mawa this Thursday. That's right. From 10 to 3 p.m. this Sunday, February 28th, you'll find a variety of wholesome exhibitors selling brand-name PCs, modems, software monitors, printers, memory, and all at the at wholesale prices, Opie. Not bad, not bad. That's right. <laughs> you can't miss this original Tri-State Computer Fair this Sunday at the Ramapo College in Mawa from 10 till 3. The Ramapo College is located off Route 202 South of I-287, exit 66. Call 908-236-2202 for directions and future Tri-State Fairs dates in your area. Admission is 6 bucks. It's Opie, it's Anthony, and it's the Grease Man hanging yeah. out with us this afternoon because he got suspended from his show in Washington, so we figured we'd help him out today and uh, allow him to come on our radio show. Thank you, yadda doodle <laughs> Boy, I'm a little full there. What do you mean you're full? I had some yoodle doodle with noodle. <laughs> yeah. I've got to take a dump. <laughs> or as uh, the Grease Man likes to say, drop the Cosby kids off at the pool there. <laughs> yadda doodle <laughs> Are you going to go for an upper decker? An upper decker, eh? Yeah, little. That's where you take the top off of the tank and take a dump in the upper deck, eh? Quite a surprise when the next person flushes the bowl, eh? Yaddle You're a mess. An absolute mess. On the Grease Man Joe. Well, okay. I mean, this world is getting way, way too politically correct where you really can't say anything. You've got to watch every Russia. word you say. Well, uh, an Asian-American group is condemning actor Matthew McConaughey for using a racial slur on the Rosie O'Donnell show. McConaughey made the remark while talking about a World War II movie that he's filming in Italy. O'Donnell asked about his short hair, and the actor responded by saying, I'm over in Rome fighting Germans and Japs from World War II. Okay, so what's the problem? The head of the uh, Media Action Network for Asian Americans says the term Jap has historically been used to, to dehumanize an entire race of people. The nonprofit group is asking for an apology from McConaughey. I'm sorry, I should have said nips. <laughs> <laughs> they, well, that's what they were called. That's historical. They were called Japs in World War II. During the war? During the war, and, and, and Germans were the Jerrys, mm -hmm. or the Krauts, mm -hmm. and uh, Japs were the, the Japanese were Japs, or, or Nips, as they were called also. And he's filming a period piece, right. basically, about World War II. What, did, what he's going to be politically correct as he films this movie? People like to forget history sometimes, I guess. And then, you know? uh, and there's another example of this as well. You yeah. see uh, Jesse Ventura on Letterman the other night? Um, no, I missed that. He's, he's, he's just a riot, that guy. But he's talking about uh, Minnesota. I don't remember exactly how it went, but he was talking about the difference between Minnesota and St. Paul or something like that. Yeah. And he said St. Paul, the, the, the roads are all screwed up. And he thinks the reason the roads are all screwed up because of the drunken Irishman built the roads. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he said that. Something like that. I'm paraphrasing, obviously. Oh, wow. So now they're all pissed at uh, the body. At the body? And he meant it as a joke. Yeah, it, well, it's very hard to say, uh, to tell any kind of racially oriented jokes, Opie. But everyone needs to just lighten up. No, there's groups now. There's groups, action groups, and they have letterhead. Mm -hmm. And uh, there, there's a group for everything. And if they don't jump on it when somebody makes a joke, then they'd be uh, shirking their responsibility to their people, to their peeps. <laughs> exactly. And how much fun would the world be? People ought to you definitely lighten up. So what? 
People make Italian jokes. I don't care. You know something? There's a whole big thing about um, a series that's on HBO, The Sopranos. Yeah. I, I watch that. It's a great show. It's hysterical. It's fun. It, it's violent. It's just great. Mm -hmm. And these Italian groups are going, it's insulting to Italians that this stereotype of mobsters has to be. You know something? I am 100% uh, Italian. I'm not offended by it. I don't even think twice. It's a show. And and they're they're showing uh, mo mobsters. So what? Open up the paper when there's a mob bust. There's not you know, Smiths and Joneses in there. <laughs> no, it's not. You know, Jimmy the Fish Jadruzzi and and just, you know, there's it's loosely based on reality. Every stereotype <laughs> it's, has its basis in fact. Yeah, loosely, but yeah, sure. Some of them a little tighter than others. Mm -hmm. Some of them aren't as loose. <laughs> and uh, of course, the Italians have a history of uh, organized crime in uh, New York, especially. So, it's life. It's real. You know, you, people put their head in the sand sometimes. They don't want to accept the truth sometimes. You know? Mm -hmm. So what? A lot of Italian Americans. Uh, 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 but not a lot were involved in crime, but a lot of people in organized crime were Italian. Still are. So, a lot of uh, uh, Asian people, they drive like crap. <laughs> so? Now you've gone too far. <laughs> <laughs> what am I talking about? What? What? <laughs> and why do they drive like crap, Anthony? You can blindfold these people with dental floss. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dice pit. I don't know why they drive like crap for some reason. I don't know. I'm not offended, though, by The Sopranos. I find it a very entertaining show. Hi, N.E.W. Yeah, how you doing? I just wanted to say that I'm 100% Irish, and I don't find that offensive at all. Hello. Everyone these days is way too racially sensitive. If you, you know, aren't so drunk, drunk if you aren't so drunk, you would uh, find that offensive, sir. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. No, we, we've all gotten way too serious in this world. Way too serious. It's ridiculous. How about the guy in Washington that used the term niggardly? He got in trouble for using the word niggardly. Uh, as it uh, apply, and, and the definition is stingy. Stingy. Yes. Stingy with something. So, so he said that people were being niggardly. And uh, he got he got thrown out of his uh, job. It was temporarily, a albeit, because they finally got some sense in their head. It was a white guy too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was an aide to, uh, I, be I believe, the mayor. Yeah, the yeah, mayor, to the mayor, the crack mayor. Uh, I'm not sure, right. but uh, he used the term niggardly mm -hmm. and got in trouble for it just because because it sounded bad. Yeah, not even because it, it he was using a slur because it sounded like the slur. Mm -hmm. How stupid is that? When in reality it means stingy. People are just getting out of hand. You can't make references. You can't. It's hysterical. Everyone is part know. of a group. Yeah, there's big groups that just have their letterhead. They write complaints to, uh, about us. <laughs> it's hysterical. We've heard from every single group, I believe. Well, that means we're doing well. We're very diverse in our insults. Mm. We don't care. We just we will talk about any group, anybody, anything. Hi, any w. Be a voice of reason. Hey. hey, what's up? What's up, guys? How are you? I got a question. Yeah. Is anybody an American anymore? Uh, not no. really. You have I, to you have to be an Italian American, an African American, an Asian American. How come somebody? How come we all have to be from somewhere? You know, my parents were born in Europe. And uh, when somebody asks me, I, I tell them I'm an American. Of course. Yeah. I eat hot dogs and hamburgers. I play basketball. And I don't know a damn thing about my, <laughs> my ancestry. I know my ancestry is Italian, but I, I don't I don't base my life around it, around well, defending. Yeah, do you have, uh, like, Italian, uh, like, sculptures and paintings? On the, do, you, do you dress in uh, <laughs> Italian garb? Yes. <laughs> Every day. I dress like Papa Geppetto from uh, Pinocchio. You, you know That's how I'm dressed. I think if everybody took the attitude that I'm an American, we'd have less of this crap. Of course, you, you'd turn on the tube. This group is part of the Korean American group. Oh, boy. Or the Latin Americans. No, we're all Americans. The people that scream uh, racism the most are the people that are the biggest separatists in yeah. the United States. Sep they, separatism is the disease that, right. that is plaguing us. Exactly. And that, and that is the truth. Hey, those Koreans... I want them to hook me up with some kimchi, man. <laughs> I haven't had any since I was over there. You like that kimchi? What's that? That buried uh, cabbage, right? It's, it smells bad. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it tastes good. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, man. Have a good day. Take right. it easy. Yeah, people just get too serious. I don't know. Hi, NEW. 
Hello, how you guys doing? Good, what's up? I got a good Irish joke for you if you want to hear it. I'm an Irish American and I love, to, I love telling them. All right, is this what it's going to come down to now? We're going to show that uh, we can have a sense of humor, no matter what our race is, yeah, by just so. telling uh, racial jokes. All right, right. all right, here's the deal. Here's <laughs> no. the deal. we got to hit every sing single group this afternoon. Okay. You can throw out the first joke, but we want to hear we want to hear all all the jokes. There. Right. All right. How many Irishmen does it take to screw in a light bulb? How many? Four. One to hold the light bulb and three to keep drinking until the room spins. <laughs> <laughs> and we're off. There you go. <laughs> all right, we're going to keep track of all the groups we piss off today, all right? We've got to catch them all or else we'll be wrong, Opie. Yes, the Irish. All right, Irish are covered. <laughs> Irish are covered. We're waiting for the next person to call in with a, a racial joke. That's what we're doing for the rest of the show today. Screw it. That's it. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's to prove a friggin' point, yeah. man. This isn't damaging anything, for God's sake. Mike, we, we, we've gotten too over-the-top serious in this country. Hi, N.E.W. Hello. Hi, what's up? Uh, yeah, I'm offended uh, because I'm an alcoholic and I'm tired of all the Irish people getting the credit uh, <laughs> for all the drunken mishaps. <laughs> you want to take credit for all that. I'm a drunken American, <laughs> Yeah. for God's I'm sake. I'm a drunken American and I'm tired of the Irish people. You know, every other freaking background can throw it down, too. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Thank I'm a you. More Guinness than anybody. I'll drink anybody under the table. Right on. Irish. Right on, man. Thanks. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Well, on the way, we got Nirvana. We got Tom Petty. And the phones are just lit. You want to just take a few more jokes, Anthony? Yeah, sure. What the hell? We'll just plunk them down. Hi, NEW. Hey, I got a joke for ONA. All right. We're right here, live on the radio. Let's hear it. All right. Why do Italian men wear gold chains? Why? To. So they know when to stop shaving. <laughs> <laughs> I am offended, sir. I am so oh, offended. Get out of here, you guinea wop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so far the Irish and the Italians are taken care of. Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right, late. All right. <laughs> I'm going to stop shaving. That works for the Italian women, too. Yeah, I got some Jewish jokes here. As a Jew, I feel offended by all these jokes except for Jewish jokes. Okay, right. let's hear a Jewish joke. Why do Jewish men like to watch pornos backwards? Uh, why? Because they like to see the hooker give the money back. <laughs> Very nice. My God, the damage we're causing here today, Opie. Well, They'll be rioting in the streets. I was hoping for a, a, a more brutal Jewish joke, but I guess we'll accept that. Well, I can the do some more. The Jews are covered at this point. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> it's going to get ugly today. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll come back with Tom Petty. We'll take more of your... Uh, one more? What do you got, Rick? Uh, line four, you got a Puerto Rican joke. Oh, Puerto Rican. All right, we might as well cover the uh, Puerto Rican joke. Hello. Yeah, what's up, buddy? Hey, how's it going? All right. I got a good Puerto Rican joke. All right, let's hear it. How does a Puerto Rican girl know when her mother's on the rag? How? Her brother's penis tastes funny. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> that, that could be anything. That's one of those insert race here. Yeah, now. Well, come on, it works. All right. Hey, you guys are great, man. I listen to you every day. Hey, thanks, man. <laughs> All right. All right. That's terrible. I think officially the Puerto Ricans are still not taking care no, of No, definitely job. not. All right. Hi, NEW. Yeah, I got a black guy joke. Okay, here it comes. <laughs> I was waiting for this. <laughs> How many uh, cops does it take to push a black guy down the stairs? How many? None. None. He, he fell. fell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's horrible. Uh, I think it's pretty good. Well, this is awful now. Well, well, I'm getting good fun. All right. I believe the blacks are taken care of. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yep. All right. Gee, this is just a uh, horrible Opie. Yeah. I'm offended. Yep. As an Italian-American. 1027 WNEW, the Rock of New York Nirvana. Unplugged this time around, and uh, that's all apologies. It's Opie and Anthony. Hey, hanging, having a lot of fun today. It's getting a little ugly. Well, yes, we, we're proving a point that um, we can still make fun of ourselves, Opie. Mm -hmm. as, as human beings, as Americans, mm -hmm. and not as uh, Italian-Americans, Asian-Americans, African-Americans. Irish Americans, uh, just as Americans. Well, there's been a bunch of stories in the paper lately. Matthew McConaughey was talking about Japs on the Rosie O'Donnell show, so there's a group up in arms over that. Uh, Jesse Ventura was on Letterman talking about um, the Irish being drunk up there in St. Paul, Minnesota. Mm -hmm. He's getting flack about that. And, uh, and we're just trying to lighten everyone up. Well, we're trying to show how ridiculous this is. Lighten what? the F up. What is it going to do? Everyone... Uh, 
everyone is so serious these days. They, they feel that if a joke is told about a certain uh, ethnic background, that if somebody hears it of that ethnic background, they will what? What'll what'll happen? I don't know. It will happen. get low self esteem. Yeah. Will they um, drop out of society, Opie? Mm -hmm. I don't understand what'll happen. By me. So today on the show, we're uh, we're taking all sorts of jokes. That's it. We're not we're not favoring any one group, and we're equal opportunity offenders here. So far, we've offended the Irish, the Italians, the Jews, and the blacks. Okay. We are going to attempt to we are attempting to make fun of every single. <laughs> group that you could find in New York City. Wow, everything. We got a long way to go. Yes, we do. You got any on the instant feedback, Anthony? Izzy, Jersey City. Okay. Why doesn't Mexico have an Olympic team? <laughs> I've heard this one. Go ahead. Because all the Mexicans that can run, jump, or swim are all in the U.S. already. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, that takes care of the Mexicans. <laughs> any other jokes on the instant feedback? Me, a panda. Oof. <laughs> I, I, wow. I could, I, could, I could take care of the white trash. <laughs> Bill in Yorktown Heights, how do you tell that a girl from Arkansas is a virgin? How? Oh. She could still outrun her brothers. <laughs> <laughs> that takes care of the white trash. Oh, my God, Eric. <laughs> what? No, we've already taken care of this group. What girl? I, I can't read that. Why? Well, there's, there, we're hitting a, a few groups uh, numerous times. What is this, Opie? Well, come on. <laughs> You, well, just say the joke. Wait a minute. I lost it. <laughs> yeah, sure you did. <laughs> how, do you, how do you stop a black man from drowning? How? You take your foot off his head. <laughs> <laughs> That's Eric from Staten Island. Thank you. All right, Eric. My God, is that awful. The blacks are in the lead. They're taking the most abuse today so far. <laughs> Hi, N.E.W. All right. Hello. Hey, what's up? What's going on? Turn down your radio, dude. We're uh, we're live. That's that's a How's delay. That? All right, go ahead. What's your joke? Okay, I got a black joke for you. Oh my <laughs> All right, go ahead. Okay, there's a little black kid in the kitchen with his mother baking. Starts yeah. playing around with the flour. Gets it all over his hands and his face. He's like, "Hey, mommy, look, I'm a little white boy." <laughs> Smack right in the head. So go talk to your daddy. Goes in the other room. Says, "Hey, daddy, look, I'm a little white boy." Smack. It goes to your grandma. He goes, hey, Grandma, look, look, I'm a little white boy. Mac he goes back in the kitchen. His mother said, well, let me ask you something. Did you learn something today? She said, he says, yeah. I've only been white for five minutes. I already hate you niggers. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, this little experiment has gone awry. You know, lay off the blacks. We're trying to get every single group represented here. Unbelievable. Hi, wait a minute. Hi, N.E.W. Yo. All right. Uh, you ready? Yeah. I'm a Puerto Rican Jew, all right? So can I cover two races? Um, yes, you can. Like okay. Juan Epstein. Here's, yeah, right. Here's the first one. Okay. All right. What's the difference between a pizza and a Jew? Oh, uh, I've heard this one. Go ahead. What? A pizza doesn't scream when it goes in the oven. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and the, uh, the Puerto Rican one? Yeah. All right. I got to figure out a good way to word this. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, a guy pleasures himself in a shoe and lets the flies do the... Oh, I'm sorry. I told you the punchline. <laughs> Just try to get how, how do you get, how do you get a Puerto Rican girl pregnant? That, that's a Polish joke, but go ahead. Yeah, that's a Polish oh, joke. Oh, it is? Yeah, it's a Polish joke. Well, can joke. I finish it anyway? All right, go ahead. How do you get a, uh, a Polish girl pregnant? Oh. Yeah, pleasure yourself in a shoe and let the flies do the rest. <laughs> All right, the Polish Yo, people listen. are taken care of. Y yes, yesterday when you... Uh, we're doing that little story about Opie's uh, infatuation with uh, Florida. Yeah. And you were talking about the staple pack of hot dogs on the back of her neck. Yeah. I almost <laughs> drove off the back of the Williamsburg Bridge, man. Uh, right on, that was man. hilarious. Right on. All right, man. Later. Thank you. James! <laughs> All right. So far, we've taken care of the Irish, the Italians, the Jews, the blacks, the Mexicans, white trash in general, and uh, the Polish people. Okay. See what else we got on the phone lines here. Hi, NEW. Hey, what's up? I got a multicultural uh, cultural joke for you guys. Multicultural? Multicultural. Well, this oh, ought to yeah. be politically correct. All right, let's hear it. <laughs> okay, a black guy and a Hispanic guy in a car. Who's driving? Uh, the cop. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, no. <laughs> okay. Oh. Hi, NEW. Yeah, hi. How are you guys? Hey, what's up? All right, now, uh, 
How's it go again? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> no, just... What nationality are you, first? I'm an Italian. Okay. Uh oh, great. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Why don't you say any Puerto Ricans on Star Trek? Why? Well, they don't want to work in the future either. <laughs> Listen, you guys, you guys do a great show. Me and the guys at work, we're always arguing which show is better between you and K-Rock. Yeah. And listen, I, do, I work in all ethnic groups' houses. And you won't believe some of the stuff that I see in there. I, would, I can only imagine. Oh, unbelievable. Between the Indians, the Chinamen, the Koreans. I do plumbing. And I have to go and work in all these houses. And I got to work with all this poop that, that they do. Chinamen. All right, buddy. Thanks all for right, calling Thanks in. a lot, guys. Right. Doing a good show. All right, thanks. One more. Hi, N.E.W. You guys are the best. I tell you, you hit on something really heavy duty. This is the biggest problem suffering the country is suffering from, not just the city. Exactly. Yeah. You guys, you guys haven't hit the uh, the PRs yet. What? Where's Rick? He's offended. I got. Oh, uh, <laughs> I go out with a PR, man. Well, I'm producer sure. Rick is a PR. See, I'm sorry. All right, go ahead. All right, I got two for you. <laughs> quick, real quick. Uh, what's a uh, what's Puerto Rican vacation? Uh, what? Uh, two weeks on somebody else's stoop. <laughs> <laughs> and I got another one for you. How come uh, How come there's very few Puerto Rican suicides? Uh, why? Because it's hard to kill yourself jumping out of a basement apartment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, buddy. You guys are the best. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> wow. 1027 WNEW, the Rock of New York, Metallica from Garage Inc. That's Whiskey in the Jar. Judas Priest before that and Living After Midnight. You're hanging with Opie and Anthony. Oi. And uh, a very good cause is happening right now as we speak. Today is the 10th annual Radio Thon to benefit Tomorrow's Children's Fund and the CJ, uh, CJ excuse me, Foundation for SIDS. Uh, we urge you to call 877-877-6464 to make a donation right now. We'd greatly appreciate that. Okay. Is that the uh, telethon that uh, Imus in the morning was uh, doing? Uh, yeah, I believe this morning. I believe the fans started it today. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, so old and senile, I I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, hmm. Hey, a lot of uh, old DJs checking in on our show today. <laughs> we had the Grease Man on earlier. <laughs> what a D today. <laughs> Because the grease man got suspended, if you weren't listening earlier, from his uh, Washington radio station. Yes, he did. Because yesterday morning he was playing Lauren Hill. Mm -hmm. And after he played a little snippet of her latest record that uh, won a Grammy last night, he yeah. said, uh, no wonder they dragged them behind trucks. Ouch. So he got suspended without pay, most likely getting fired from that gig. Mm. So. See, that's... Um that's just in poor taste. That's yeah. You know, I mean, that, that that there's no humor to that. Not really. It's different than than a joke. Well, that's that's uh, being shocking just to be shocking. Yeah, it's not funny. <clears throat> yeah, we go down that road, but we at least try to get some humor out of it. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, the bosses want us to stop our little. Oh, our, do they? Our little point that we're trying to make on our show today. See how scared everyone gets? And you know what? We're not going to stop. Screw it. Everyone gets all shaken up. They can't take it. Well, the world's simple as this. We said it earlier. It's getting way too politically correct. You can't make any jokes anymore without some special interest group just losing it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely losing it. Yeah. So today we decide to just kind of completely open up of the airwaves and allow you guys to tell jokes about other groups. I want to see what's bubbling under the surface, you know, because everyone's been shut down. Uh, you can't tell uh, jokes anymore about different ethnic groups. Mm -hmm. You get you're, you're getting yourself in trouble. Yeah. So are they gone? Does no one tell them anymore? Is that it? They, they tell them behind closed doors, They've I guess. They vanished off the face of the earth. And every group is guilty of this. Of course. And the funny thing is people are calling <laughs> the bosses and complaining about this, even yeah. though we're trying to offend every single group. Yeah. That's our goal today. We want a joke about every single ethnic group on the face of the earth. Or that at least <laughs> lives in New York City, which is pretty, that's much, pretty much the earth. All right. 1027 WNEW, The Rock of New York, Collective Soul and Gel. It's Opie and Anthony. Hey. Well, it's official. Uh, the Grease Man did get fired. Fire day. Everyone remembers the Grease Man when he was in New York for a while, but uh, he was down there in Washington. Gabardigoo. And, and uh, he got fired. There'll be no more of the Grief Man Show. <laughs> Yaddle daddle. You'll have to be slinging lead somewhere else, uh, Grief Man. I'll get another job with slinging lead. <laughs>
Mm. All right, well, let me Maybe I'll be a mercenary. A mercenary, huh? Mercenary, yada dee da doodle dee. goo You went over the top today, though, Grease Man. Over the top, eh? I'm a shock jock. Yada dee da doo. All right, here's the AP story. It's going to be a huge story tomorrow. Uh, a shock jock who made light of a grizzly shock jock yeah. of a grizzly racial killing lost his job Thursday. A relatively rare case of radio shock deemed simply too shocking. The grease man was fired by station W A R W. Wow, his career was going well, huh? <laughs> w A R W Wednesday after he played a portion of a song by Grammy Award winning singer Lauren Hill and remarked. No wonder people drag them behind trucks. I meant the CDs. <laughs> the comment linked Hill, of course, who is black, to the dragging death in Texas of a black uh, man, James Byrd Jr., a white supremacist, was sentenced to death Thursday in Byrd's killing. A statement from the station announcing the grease man's firing Thursday apologized to listeners who were offended. Uh, you want me to read the statement really fast or no? Yeah, I guess so. It, it, this whole thing is pretty interesting. While we will always strongly support the right of our on-air artists to express a wide range of opinions, even those that are unpopular or offensive to some, WARW cannot be associated with the trivialization of an unspeakable act of violence, the statement read. Uh, the grease man deserved to be fired for a remark that was stupendously stupid. Stupendously and, stupid, dear. Yeah. And double stupendously evil. Evil, yeah. <laughs> Gobbledygoo. <laughs> now, this AP story goes on to say, but if history is a guide, uh, the grease man may be back on the air somewhere before too long. Uh, who is Harrison? Although Harrison estimates a shock jock gets to boot about once a year somewhere in the country, the genre and its practitioners endure. Hmm. Uh, previously, the best known recent example of a shock jock firing was Bob Grant's dismissal from WABC right here in New York in 1996. Yeah. After saying he was a pessimist for believing that Commerce, uh, Commerce Secretary Ron Brown had survived the plane crash. <laughs> oh, my God. Brown, who was black, died in the crash that year. Grant, who in the past had referred to blacks as savages, is back on the air as at a rival New York station. I just meant the rioting blacks. Savages. <laughs> Bob Grant, you buffoons! <laughs> <laughs> Other radio hosts regularly uh, get in hot water with listeners, including the widely syndicated Howard Stern and Don Imus. Mr. Imus, you've gotten in trouble in the past? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, there was uh, <laughs> a couple of times uh, the I Man uh, bored his audience <laughs> to the point where um, uh, Imus in the morning. Uh, how to be reprimanded. I see. Yeah. <laughs> hey, where's McCord? <laughs> Very good. Uh, stations choose the format knowing the host will probably offend people, but will also attract listeners that matter to advertisers, notably young men. This type of broadcast depends on being shocking and disgusting. Shocking, eh, disgusting, eh, goodly gooby. And occasionally will hit a nerve at the wrong time and somebody will get suspended or fired. Mm. And then things will go back like they were. All right. And then it goes on really fast here. Um, the Grease Man also was suspended back in 1986. While at another station, the Grease Man said, uh, talking about the Martin Luther King holiday, he said, what? What would you say, Grease Man? I quote, uh, kill four more, we could take off the whole week. <laughs> Funny stuff from the Grease Man show. Well, good luck finding another radio station, Grace Man. Yeah, the doodle. I'm going to be on uh, CB Channel 19 uh, for the Grease Man Show. Moodle. Oh. I'll be slinging lead. Uh, you know, uh, this reminds me uh, of when I was in Vietnam. Uh, oh, yeah, you got another... In the jungles of Vietnam. Another Vietnam story, Grace I was slinging lead, yeah. fighting uh, the gooks. Uh. <laughs> what a doodle. Gobbledygoo. Uh. On the Grease Man Show. Uh, the ex Grease Man Show. Yes, the ex Grease Man Show. Oh, my stomach hurts. I gotta go to the bathroom, eh? <laughs> Drop the Cosby kids off at the pool, eh? <laughs> Yaddle doodle, eh? <laughs> Gabble goodly. Uh, <laughs> those people like fried chicken. Yeah. Yabble doodle, eh? I'm shocking, eh? <laughs> The Grease Man. <laughs> yeah, his show was pretty shocking when it was here. Shocking, in New York. Uh, yeah. shockingly stupid. Yaddle uh. <laughs> gobbledygoo. That is so <laughs> annoying. 
<laughs> he would just do that night after over night. Over and over again. Well, we could relate to being fired for saying something shocking, huh, Anthony? Oh, shocking. What do you, what's this we stuff? What? It's your idea. What do you mean it was my idea? <laughs> Hope he came up with a great idea to say the mayor of Boston was dead on April 1st, April Fool's Day. And we said he was dead. And then uh, he no, wasn't. Yeah. We survived a week before we got fired, though. Yeah, meetings and everything. And then they uh, dragged us in and terminated our contract, as they eloquently put it. Yep. Yeah, that was uh, that was our little yeah. dopey move. Yeah, that was really smart of us, huh, Anthony? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was real intelligent. Well, we ended up here. Well, we were, we were trying to make fun of how all the radio stations every April Fool's just do some stupid April Fool's prank. You know, yeah. like, hey, look out your window. There's a meteorite uh, passing over the city, everyone. Oh, oh, you know? Yeah. So we decided, all right, we'll we'll come up with a prank. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll come up with a prank. Just take it to the total extreme. Which we know? did. And, uh... Boy, the mayor was pissed. Well, everyone who knew our show at the time knew it was a joke. Yeah. That's the sad part. And it was so obvious that we were joking, but somehow uh, they took it seriously. To the point where, what, the mayor was in mid-flight? Yeah, so, so, no one... so it says the mayor was flying from Florida to, to Boston when we said it. Mm -hmm. And uh, no one could get in touch with him to confirm whether he was alive or dead. So his family supposedly heard Opie and Anthony with breaking news. His family doesn't listen, wasn't listening to our show. Yeah, and, and we're breaking news we're bre on our show. Yeah, we're, we're, we were the winds of Boston. Uh, yeah, oh, of course. Everyone yeah. who listened to our show knew we were just a bunch of a-holes. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but somehow they took it as fact. And then, being a politician, he uh, had to squeeze a bunch of sympathy out of it. Yeah. So, uh, he did. And well, he had to have a press conference to tell everyone that he was alive. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, the, the, all the TV news stations had to have the scroll. You know how the, they do the winter uh, advisory? Yeah. But it was saying, uh, <laughs> the mayor's alive and well. What you heard is just an April Fool's prank. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> and then Anthony and I, for, uh, what, about two weeks, turned out to be the Joey Buttafuoco of Boston. Yeah. We couldn't go anywhere without, like, TV crews hunting us down and camping on our lawns and Who stuff. Who knew it would be uh, such a huge story, but th that's the way these things happen, you know? Yeah. You get on the air, you say something. I mean, Grease Man saying that, I mean, that's just stupid, you know? It's not even, like, I don't know, it's not even entertaining in a way. Yeah, there's no real, I don't know, just doing it for shock value. Right. Our whole point was we didn't do it for a shock value. Just did it because we, we just wanted April to show how yeah, stupid. We just wanted to show how stupid all the other radio stations are when they come up with their wacky April, April yeah, Fool's pranks. Exactly. You know, like hey, the Stones are playing a surprise uh, date in the city tonight, mm -hmm. and you have a thousand people show up at a club, and you know, but whatever. But but when this happened, um, yeah, people were saying, well, Opie and Anthony, that's it. Mm -hmm. They're gone. That's it for their career. You know, they blow it by saying the mayor was dead. And all our enemies and all our all the people that hated us at all the other radio stations, they la they had such a big laugh over yeah. us getting fired and said, "See, those guys will never work in the business again." And then we end up uh, in the number one market. How about that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see how that works. Kind of lucked out, huh? Yeah, that kind of worked. We could have been uh, in Tulsa. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, at that point, I give up radio. No, it's really. It's over at that point. Yada dada, Grease Man, live in Tulsa. <laughs> Slinging lead. <laughs> uh, all right, well. <laughs> How about those wet backs there? <laughs> <laughs> well, I could relate, relate to uh, Grease Man getting fired, I guess, is what we're trying to say. All right. Um, more stupidity on the way. The Rock of New York, 1027 WNEW. That's the band uh, Train with the song Free. Eric Clapton before that by request. It's Opie and Anthony. Still getting a ton of complaint calls coming into uh, management about our little show today. Wow. Because we're just uh, opening the phone lines and allowing you guys to tell any type of uh, racial joke you like. Yeah. Equal opportunity offenders here today, trying to prove a point that people need to just lighten the f up in this damn country. Exactly. Uh, and we're we've covered just about not well a lot of groups that live in New York. Mm -hmm. A lot of them. We haven't taken care of the Pakistanis yet. Yet Pakistanis have to be uh, addressed. Yes. Um, Those are you know cab drivers or convenience store workers. Yeah, but I mean we've taken care of the uh, the Asians, the Irish, the Italians, the Jews, the Blacks, the Mexicans, white trash in general, the Polish, Puerto Ricans, priests, Somalians, lesbians, women in general, Eskimos, dothead Indians, and the Greeks. So if there's a if there's a group we haven't mentioned on the list and you got a joke about them, please give us a call. 
Yeah, and people are, really aren't into this uh, this topic. We've gotten more instant feedback. We have hundreds of email, hundreds of faxes. See, people are still telling these jokes. Life is going on, even though people complain and write uh, complaint letters and and try to make this world so politically correct that they stifle everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, certain aspects of uh, a people's ethnic background are funny. Regardless of what it is, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, certain things, inherent uh, uh, traits, maybe, or or just um, stereotypes, mm -hmm. they're funny. I love when people say to you and I, "You guys stereotype," and I go, "Yeah, we do, and we're proud of it. We'll admit it. We like to stereotype. It's of fun. Course. It's funny, you know." And there's a bunch of people that are so damn politically correct. They want everyone else to be politically correct in this world that they're taking it to one extreme. Mm -hmm. So we'll take it to the other extreme. That's exactly. all we're trying to prove on our show today. And we, we want to see maybe maybe there's no jokes out there, Opie. Maybe people aren't telling jokes anymore. And I can't read the instant feedback fast enough. They're I coming know. in like a hundred a minute at this point. All these people that want to uh, do away with with any kind of ethnic joke or jokes that they deem in bad taste mm -hmm. are uh, phonies that are just fooling themselves. This is happening in the world. <laughs> And every group. This tells is the way people are. We're not above. We're not above this. No. People like to think we are so evolved. Like we're like Vulcans. People love to think just because our computers are faster and things are, uh, our technology is getting so much better that all of a sudden we're like Vulcans. We're completely logical and and we don't get laughs out of maybe someone's misfortune mm -hmm. or um, people's uh, ethnic backgrounds. You know, you get the same thing with the um, vegetarians that think we shouldn't eat meat because we're so above that. Mm -hmm. People, we're not above this stuff. We're human beings. Uh, we have some fun little toys, but we're not all that high and mighty. We can still laugh at a lot of things. Bravo. Please. Hi, N.E.W. N.B. Oh, yeah, what's up? Anthony. Hey. What's going on, guys? How you doing? It's trippy. You guys are out of control, man. <laughs> totally. Over the edge. I love you. Oh, cool. Thanks. Listen, I got a question for you guys. Yeah. What do you get when you put 50 Pakistani women in one room? What do you get? I haven't heard this one. Don't know. No clue. Drum roll. A full set of teeth. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I hope your day is now complete. Thank you. We Anytime, guys. Cross uh, the Pakistanis <laughs> off the list. All right, I'll cross them off. Hi, NEW. NEW. Hello. Yeah, what's up, bro? You got a joke? I didn't know I was talking to you. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. I got two jokes here. All right. One will cover the queers. Okay. Oh my God. And the other one, if you're interested, will cover just about everybody else in one shot. All right. You're saying one will cover the uh, homosexual community. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> okay. Guys, start with that. One. Okay. How does a refrigerator and a gay guy differ from one another? Uh, refrigerator, uh, meat, burp. Something. Uh, well, go ahead. What? Yeah. The refrigerator doesn't front when you take the meat out. There you go. I've heard that one. Okay. <laughs> All right. One more? Yeah, hit it real fast. I just want everyone else. Okay. How come Jesus Christ can't eat M&M's? Uh, why? Because they fall through the holes uh, yeah. in the pants. <laughs> I heard that, too. Hey, I have a gay joke. Yeah, what? What does a, a, a gay guy and an ambulance have in common? i got no idea. When, when, you, when you put a stiff in the rear, they both go, Wee! <laughs> <laughs> I love that gag. All right. Hey, what do you think of uh, Clinton's accuser? Another so big that, uh, story that's uh, hitting the news today. So that Bill raped her years ago? Yeah, back in what, 78? Let me let me take a look at her. Well, yeah, well, she kind of looks like someone Bill would uh, <laughs> go after. The funniest thing is that Clinton's lawyers on TV, like, just denying it. Yeah. This is preposterous. It's like, come on. It's Clinton. Come on. Yeah, this is. How many times has he had to come out and go, no, no, but this now is just crazy. Now you've guys, you've guys gone too far. Now you've gone too far. Yeah. I mean, before, all right, there were a couple of things, but no, now this is just crazy. Yeah. It's going to be, someday they're just going to digitally enhance the Zabruder film and it's going to be Clinton on the grassy knoll with the gun. <laughs> you know? I deny that it was Bill. I, sorry. <laughs> I apologize. Yeah, she says that he uh, he raped her, huh? She seems real credible. She doesn't really want anything out of this, you know. Yeah. Well, what do you what do you do? I don't know. You, you can't 
Well, one thing you do, uh, the Clintons are thinking of moving into New York mm -hmm. after their time in the White House is done. Right. I suggest we take the Giuliani uh, new law a little further. We mentioned this last week on the radio show. Yeah. And if uh, Clinton comes to town, I think we should take his... Uh, his uh, his uh, Johnson away. <laughs> his weapon? Yeah, his weapon. <laughs> well, that's what it is. If you used his uh, Schween in the commission of a crime. Yeah. So that's what the whole uh, car thing is. Mm -hmm. They could take it away. So maybe it might it might have to go that route. Well, maybe Giuliani's going to do that. Why don't we go one further? All rapists have to have their schlongs uh, cut off. Confiscate the schlongs. Confiscate now. the schlongs. Don't put it past Rudy. It's it's coming. If you're hitching, take the thumb. Take the thumb. Things like that, right? Jay walking, take the feet. Yeah. I like it. Good idea. Take the feet. Take the feet. He's <laughs> really out here with a bunch of feet. <laughs> yeah. It's got to go that way. All right. Uh, I, I didn't drive. Uh, I, I mean, I didn't drink uh, that much last night because I knew I was driving all the way home. Right. And when I finally reached Suffolk County. I just, I swear to God, it felt like The Great Escape, the movie The Great Escape, when they finally got out of Germany. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how I felt. <laughs> it's, uh, it's Well, the, the, the same uh, law is going to make it to Suffolk. Yeah, I know that. And Boy, Nassau sure got it quick, huh? Yeah. And Suffolk always does what Nassau does. Mm. And you Jersey people, stop laughing at us because it, it's coming your way as well. This is a very popular thing that politicians can do that make them look good. It doesn't take much work. Mm -hmm. uh, it's and and people seem to cheer it, so uh, they'll do it all over the country. You watch this. This will start happening all over the country, right? Before it's even tested. Hey, Rick, yep. give me your uh, big Willie Pop bit. Where is it? Oh, it's up here. Cool. Yep. <laughs> we were talking about Clinton. We got to play Rick's bit. <laughs> it's Rick's bit. Rick. Rick, who produces our show. It's Rick, and his fiance is the voice on this, right? One yeah. Them. One of them. Yep. You, well, you heard this on a uh, popular morning show this morning, but it's Rick's bit, our producer's bit, which is no big deal. But if somebody didn't always bitch about uh, other people uh, stealing, uh, stealing stuff, uh, right. being imitators and things like that, it wouldn't be an issue. I don't know if we're getting more complaint jokes or ethnic jokes at this point. People are really losing it. It's so weird. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. I don't know. I don't know. We're, we're allowing people to tell ethnic jokes on our show today, mm -hmm. just so people will just lighten up. And the, the people that have called in to complain, uh, we like asking them the question, what do these jokes do? Mm -hmm. the, all right, let, let's look at the pros and the cons. What's the upside to these jokes? You might be driving, guilty as you may be, mm -hmm. you, you, you get a chuckle. You're you giggling snicker. And, and you're hoping no one saw you laugh. Yeah, you've heard these jokes before. Of course, you, you could be outraged by its content, but if you're alone, you're caught, you, you're, you laugh at them. Uh, now let's look at the bad side. What's the downside to uh, some of these jokes? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. They insult somebody? So I'm insulted a lot of times every day. It's part of life. It is part of life. But I don't see, I don't think they're going to kill anyone. I don't think they'll psychologically scar anybody any worse than just living life uh, psychologically scars you. And we really don't have an agenda here. It's not like no. we picked on one group. We've picked on as many groups that live in New York City as possible. No. As possible. That's it. These, this, this is uh, what we are. Yeah. We are human beings. And we were talking to one lady. She's like, you know, she, she says, you know, that uh, she loves us, you know, thinks we're really cool and stuff. But she said we went way too far today. Yeah. And then we said, well, what, you know, what do you find funny? She goes, well, all those Stephen Lynch songs. I'm like, St the Stephen Lynch songs are in the same vein of, as what we're doing today. She enjoys the gerbil song, which uh, many gay groups have complained about, mm -hmm. saying that it harms the gay community. Yeah, the priest song. I go, you heard the priest song on our show, which has been banned. You know, yeah. you know how many complaint letters and uh, special interest groups have jumped on that one mm -hmm. because we played it. There's so many special interest groups now that you can't. Do, that's what we're trying to show you. You you can't do anything. Mm -hmm. You can't talk about anything. Kill a kitten. Animal rights activists mm -hmm. want our heads. Yes. But she finds that OK. But telling an ethnic joke, not OK. I don't see the difference. I don't see what they do. I don't think they're as harmful as, as everybody uh, thinks they are. They think only only psychopaths are telling these things, and they're like one joke away from going out and murdering based on jokes. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's the truth. I think most of the people uh, uh, tell these jokes all the time to their friends, coworkers, and that's just the way it is. Yeah.
you know? And our show is based loosely on reality. <laughs> <laughs> a little too much reality in here sometimes. Well, you know. Yeah. Yeah, let's uh, go on the uh, radio and make believe that no one tells an ethnic joke at work. Or yeah. they're out with their pals. Yeah, black guys don't tell any ethnic jokes. Yeah, no. Italians uh, don't tell any ethnic jokes. Everyone's telling them. They you always have, always will. No one's going to stop. No group with their fancy letterhead and complaints are going to stop basic human nature. That's why people watch the sensationalist shows on Fox every Thursday. Oh, they're on tonight. Mm -hmm. That's why they're high rated. No matter how many people write in and can call and complain about them and try to get them stopped, the majority of the people are watching it. Yes. And you're not going to change that by thinking that we're so high above all this on the evolutionary scale. What about? You know, we're not. We, we laugh at other people's uh, uh, differences, other people's misfortunes. It's just the way we are, period. As humans. That's it. What about the flack that uh, the WWF is getting lately? Yeah. Yeah, now they're starting to get Same flack. thing. I mean, uh, the shows are the hottest shows on TV right now, but that's, you know, not good enough. All the special interest groups getting involved saying you can't do that on TV. Mm-hmm. You can't have a guy that uh, is a pimp with hoes coming into the ring to wrestle. But people watch this. You know, you know, if you're upset by it, maybe in, in 10, 20,000 years, when we're all wear, wearing the tinfoil s silver suits uh, and, and, we're, and we're all walking around this luscious planet loving each other, uh, these things will be a thing of the past. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's just not the way it is right now. We still enjoy these things. And I think they should be uh, accepted. With that said, on with the jokes. Uh, Scott from <laughs> Seaford writes, how can you tell if a Polak's been using a dildo? How? Her teeth are chipped. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, I'm Polish. Partly. And why did I have to admit that on the radio? Are you partly Polish? Yeah, I'm part, it's obvious. I'm partly Polish. Yeah, yes. it is obvious. It's very obvious, I know. <laughs> uh, Carl from the Bronx. Got a joke for you guys. Now, I'm assuming Carl's a... Uh, no, never mind. <laughs> You're assuming. <laughs> you better not assume, right? <laughs> what do you call two Koreans going down the street in a big orange car? What? Gooks of hazard. Oh, well, now that's over. See, now after everything I said, now I'm offended. <laughs> it, uh, I guess some of them are funnier than others, but <laughs> that's harsh. I don't know. We should all just uh, embrace uh, embrace the joke. Hi, N.A.W. How you doing? I heard a chuckle from you. You were laughing. <laughs> what, what joke did you like? He's listening to the radio. Uh, no, 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 I'm not. I'm, uh, I didn't know you guys were talking to me. No, you're, you're, you're on, on the air. I like the gook one. No, oh, you like that one? <laughs> yeah. Well, do you have a joke to add yeah, to this? Yeah, I've got a couple. I've got an Ethiopian one. Okay. Those are always fun. <laughs> <laughs> What's um, the best thing about getting head from an Ethiopian woman? Uh, no, no, no. I know the answer. You, you can't say it on the air, man. That. You know she'll... Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. How about a blonde? How about a blonde joke? All right, go ahead. Yeah, we, don't, we haven't gotten a blonde joke yet. Go ahead. <clears throat> What's the smartest thing to come out of a blonde's mouth? Don't care. You can't oh, say that. Little, little, all right, I'll, I'll, <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> you can't what say is he, insane? Ugh. <laughs> We do follow FCC laws, believe it or not. Yeah, there's there's rules of uh, uh, decency mm -hmm. that the FCC puts out, and then there are rules of decency that um, you know the, the the public has has made. Yeah, we can defy the public rules, <laughs> not the FCC ones. And he was breaking the FCC rules. All right, Kenny Wayne Shepherd on the way, and the <laughs> Eagles next. Do you own a computer, or are you looking to buy a new computer? Listen closely to the following message. The original Tri-State Computer Fair is coming to the Ramapo College in uh, Mawa this Thursday. That's right, this Thursday. What does this Thursday mean? It's Thursday today. <laughs> is it next Thursday? Uh, uh, we'll assume next Thursday, from 10 till 3 p.m. That's right. What? From well, this 10 to Sunday. <laughs> What is this? This is, I don't, we, we, we're supposed to do live reads on our show? I, I don't know what this is. The original Tri-State Computer Fair is coming to the Ramapo College in Mawa this Thursday. This Thursday, that's, that's right. Me? From 10 to 3 this Sunday, February 28th, you'll find a variety of wholesome <laughs> exhibitors. <laughs> what day is it? Did it start today? Does it start Sunday? Does anyone know? Just read it as is. 
Do you own a computer or are you looking to buy a new computer? Listen closely to the following message. The original Tri-State Computer Fair is coming to the Ramapo College in Mawa this Thursday. That's right. From 10 till 3 p.m. this Sunday, February 28th, you'll find a variety of wholesome exhibitors selling brand name pe- This Thursday, Sun... <laughs> That's right. From 10 till 3 p.m. this Sunday, February 28th, you'll find a variety of wholesome exhibitors selling brand name PCs, modems, software, monitors, printers, memory, and it's all at wholesale prices. I'm assuming this is going to be on Sunday, right? Who knows at this point? You'll find the latest products available, and if you are thinking of buying your first computer, now's your chance to buy from an expert who can help you get started with a system that's best for your home or business. You can't miss the original Tri-State Computer Fair this Sunday at the Ramapo College in Mawa from 10 till 3 p.m. So we said this Sunday twice, so maybe this Sunday. Right. The Ramapo College is located off Route 202 South of I-287, Exit 66. Call 908-236-2202 for directions and future Tri-State Fair dates in your area. Admission is $6. Don't miss the Tri-State Computer Fair this Sunday. Okay third time for Sunday, so I'm assuming it's Sunday, 